In this video, sponsored by the makers of Infinite Galaxy, I want to go over a few ways that you can enhance your spaceport defense, because although we all hope that our spaceport won't get attacked, the reality is that at some point you will, and when you do, you want to be ready. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and today we're getting a look at spaceport defense, and a part of what got me thinking about this activity again was that when I was playing in the Outermost Crusade, my city got swarmed and I was pretty much out of warships at that point and it was GG. But that got me wondering, are there things that you should be doing to enhance your spaceport's defenses? So let's talk a little bit about that now. And I even have, I think, still these reports in my favorites from when my spaceport got attacked here. And at the time, I was holding like three different auto mines in the Outermost Crusade, and you don't have to know what auto mines are or the Outermost Crusade is. Um, if I hit replay, unfortunately, the battle log doesn't exist or is expired. I'm pretty sure that was the case actually the second the battle completed. But one thing that I want to show you is that every single flagship you have in your spaceport will actually defend it if you have that in your settings to work that way. So. I got some amount of a little bit of extra value, I guess, from all these different flagships that I have worked on over time. And theoretically, if I actually had more of these leveled up, it would be more relevant, but I don't. Uh, and I imagine I won't for a very long time. Now, the place where you can go and get a closer look at your defenses is in that section of your spaceport where you see defense listed. I've got a defense building level 29, my defense center. And the defense center we will talk about a little bit more in just a minute here and all the buildings that can support your city's defense. What I want to talk about first is the reinforcement fleet. So this is the section where you can get a look at um, what all is in your spaceport from other players. This is influenced in part by your embassy for the number of fleet leadership limits that can be in your city. Uh, and you can see here, nobody's stationed a fleet and there's no spaceport defenses specifically set here. We get a look at the captain section. It says, during the spaceport defense, the fleet with the highest flagship power is the captain in the battle. The captain's battle buffs are applied to all fleets that join the battle. So this is a big deal if you do have one great flagship pair still in your city when you're getting hit. Flagships and warships in the spaceport, which aren't in the formation, will join the defense battle. So I think what that's saying is you can still join the battle beyond, I think, the capacity of the Alliance Center, but they just don't count as getting boosted by the captain. Uh, so uh, just something to keep in mind here uh, when you're looking at your spaceport defense. Also, you'll note there is a spaceport shield. We just get a look at this. After the spaceport has been attacked and the defenses fail, it will be in continuous damage status. If urgent repair isn't done in a timely manner, the spaceport will continue to lose energy. If the spaceport energy isn't at max and it isn't in continuous damage status, it will slowly automatically charge. You can also manually recover more energy. If your shield energy is zero, you are teleported to a new safe place to be rebuilt. So your spaceport can be teleported away when your shield energy is completely drained. If we get a look down here at the text under the Gaia spaceport defense array, it says gravity screen. The harmonic interference of the defense array limits the attacker to only be able to use up to eight fleets to attack. And the rally fleet counts as one fleet. Full band interference. Defense array emits a powerful interference signal to attack the fleet to block their ability to communicate and share tactical information. The more fleets a commander dispatches, the bigger the interference. The interference takes effect according to the order the fleets entered the battlefield. Interference will start from the second fleet that enters. I think this was related to reducing their attack. Uh, uh, yes, it reduces their battle abilities. The fleets that enter later will have their battle abilities reduced even more. So the more fleets that jump in, the weaker those additional fleets become. So that's the defense center. And by the way, if we get a look at these buildings that are related to your city's defense, the defense center is off to the side over here. Mine is level 29. And if we just get a look here at what actually gets enhanced, um, you do get more battle power, but also your spaceport shield energy limit, the amount of shield you have before you get teleported away, does increase. Now, there are other things that are very, very relevant for defending your spaceport building-wise. One of those things that we need to get a look at here is actually your repair center. The repair center is very crucial because what is going to happen 
in game modes other than Outermost Crusade, where you have an endless repair center. But if you're attacked in your home nebula, your warships are going to first go to your repair center, and only when your repair center is full will those warships be destroyed uh, beyond the capacity of the repair center. Uh, also, it increases your repair speed, but getting to that maximum of 30,000 repair uh, limit, that's leadership limit worth of warships, is actually kind of a big deal. And if we back all the way out here, your repair center, you can see off to the side here, I've got some warships in here. You can see my grand total leadership limit is actually higher. And that's because of technology and some other things that I'm gonna talk about in just a minute. I am gonna queue up this repair while I'm here and very briefly talk about other buildings that were related to your spaceport defense. One of those buildings was the embassy. We were talking about this earlier. It's related to the number of people that can reinforce your city. Now, it is uncommon that you get majorly reinforced, but if you are fighting within your own nebula, this will happen a lot and it is a big deal. And getting your embassy higher level so that you can have more allies in your city actually will help a very meaningful amount. Now, there is also a couple other buildings here, but there's other places that I think they're more important, actually. I guess the last building I'll mention that I wasn't even going to talk about is the storage center. When your city gets attacked, if you are defeated, resources will be taken from you unless they are below the amount protected by your storage center. The higher level you get your storage center, the more protection you have. Kind of a big deal. Uh, but the building that is not even in here that I wanted to show you is actually the defense platform. The defense platform is off to the side, and when you tap this, you can see that based on your progression, you can get an upwards of four different turrets that surround your city. You actually can see these turrets when you look all the way out, uh, and they are the four turrets outside my city here. So if I zoom way in, you can see them perhaps a little more closely. And you can see this city on my left has, I think, one, two, three turrets, but not a fourth. Again, the number of turrets you can have is based on your progression. We can look over here. Uh, this spaceport also only has three turrets, one, two, three. So uh, I think that's right. Yeah, three is what I see there. So you can have an upwards of four, and there are a few things you can do with your spaceport turrets. I haven't really figured out how significant this is, but you can change the weapon typing of your turret to be either kinetic or laser or missile. There's no cost um, when you switch. And everything switches from one weapon type in the turret to another. And the more levels you have of your turret, technically the more guns you have of that type. Uh, and you can rank these up without using any of your building cues, which is kind of interesting. But upgrading these does require a non-trivial amount of resources. And from what I noticed in the report that I was just showing you, by the way, of my spaceport being attacked in the Outermost Crusade is that I didn't see my defense platforms anywhere. So unfortunately, I don't think these defense platforms will help you in the Outermost Crusade. That at least is from what I can tell my experience. And if we tap the info button here, you can join battles while upgrading the defense platform. After the upgrade is complete, it immediately repairs all damaged gear. That's interesting. These do get damaged. Uh, and as you can see here, it's showing the repair time per one. So I think that these different gun slots get damaged, and then to repair one of them takes three hours and 25 minutes for me, which is actually kind of a long time. All of their other stats are up here as well. So it could take a day to actually recover all of those turrets that you have, but maybe wondering, just go, cool. okay, we've talked about how all your flagships defend your spaceport. We've talked about the buildings related to defending your spaceport. Um, and we've even talked about some of the mechanics. However, how do you get just like more raw stats for spaceport defense? A number of things. First of all, your crew is going to matter a lot. Right now, I actually have my gathering crew on, which hinders me pretty significantly when it comes to my spaceport defense. There are a number of actual spaceport points that you could go and do that would enhance your spaceport defense very significantly. I haven't done these because I don't think I'm going to get attacked. But for example, there is spaceport cannon uh, attack. That is actually a lot of attack boost that you get there. Or spaceport cannon repair speed. Um, also, Spaceport Cannon hit points. So the tech tree has a number of things that will actually help a lot. Also, I'll point out the command tree is pretty good. All your flagships are going to defend your spaceport, and there are things in here that enhance your flagships. In addition, even in the logistics section, we've got a few things related to spaceport defense. Specifically, you can get more ships need repair limit bonus. I mean, if you think you're going to get attacked when you're sleeping and you're not going to throw on a peace shield, which is something I'll talk about in just a bit, 
then having more repair limit actually is a good idea uh, because that makes it so that if you get zeroed, uh, basically people will attack you repeatedly until you're out of warships entirely. The only thing you'll have left is what is in your repair center. So that is really valuable to have more repair limit bonus. And specifically, there are uh, crew members here. Here's one that I have in my um, gathering crew because he's the logistics commander, but he gives more repair limit bonus. It's pretty nice. So that's something that most people won't use because for active fighting, it just feels like you almost don't need it. Um, however, if we just get a look here. This is not the only place where you can enhance your spaceport's defensive capabilities. In fact, if we get a look at the core module, a often rightly, and that's not the core module, here's the core module, a rightly neglected section is the command section. I don't think that this commander section is all that great. Um, with the exception of a few very important points. I mean, boosting your flagship is good, but uh, compared to boosting everything in the weapon tree, I, I went and I maxed weapon. I feel like that's probably the strongest play. However, if I had just a little more core module, I would unlock more fleet leadership limit. Not relevant for defending your spaceport, but this whole section on the right is actually related to spaceport defense. So for example, spaceport defense cannon attack and spaceport defense cannon hit points. And over here is... Space War Defense Cannon, Armor and Shields. And over here is the Repair Speed. Uh, and along the way, there's even Ships Need Repair Limit Bonus. And as you make your way all the way up to the ultimate uh, goal here, which is increasing your Fleet Leadership Limit even further. I mean, I am a very long time away from that. There's even more enhancements that you can get to your Spaceport Cannons. So I, I just don't think... That these are all that great i feel like also even if you just like knew your spaceport was going to get hit as long as you still had lots of warships i don't quite know why you would want to pick these points instead of the ones over here so i'm mentioning it it's a thing you can do i think it's a thing that most people don't need to do and probably won't do to go and put points in your core module specifically to help the defense of your spaceport that to me feels like a little bit of an over preparation. The final thing we can get a look at when we talk about your spaceport defense is actually going to be your research. And believe it or not, there is actually some very good research in the command tree specifically that I have neglected very much up until this moment in time, which enhances all the same things that we were talking about. Uh, the spaceport defense boost. Actually, this is this is not just your cannons. This, I believe, um, is giving you overall defense for all of your flagships or maybe all of your warships that are in your spaceport. I think. I could be wrong here. Uh, keep me honest. Uh, give a look down in the comments. This is spaceport cannon defense, and this is spaceport defense cannon armor and shields, but this first one actually might just be defense of all warships that are in, that are in your spaceport. And then they, you also can fortify your weapon over here, uh, cannon hit points. So you get the idea here. And this, by the way, is the tree in which you can unlock these additional platforms. I just scrolled past that particular technology. Spaceport weapon expansion is how you get that final uh, cannon for your spaceport defense, which is pretty solid. And maybe this is the one I was thinking of. Maybe this is the one that is for all fleets in your garrison. Uh, this is just... 2% hit point boost for increasing the hit points of your spaceport defense fleets. The fleets that are defending your spaceport, not the cannons themselves. So there's actually like really um, high value points here. You actually get a lot of value for the amount of resources you put into it compared to other things that you might go do, but it's only relevant for defending your spaceport, which is why I have skipped it till now because I haven't had the resources and honestly, I mean, I got much, 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 much bigger problems if my spaceport is getting attacked. Like, that's like a, a Nebula GG situation. I can't, I can't imagine. With the exception of when I got attacked in the Outermost Crusade, and in that instance, it actually would have been really good to have points in here. So maybe I will start to invest resources into this. I still feel like as a higher priority, I'll pick all the things over here related to actually fighting which I am most commonly doing, rather than the one time I ever had my spaceport attack. Do you see what I mean? So those are, I think, all of the really important ways that you can improve and evaluate your spaceport defense, um, specifically from how you can actually be stronger when you're getting attacked. 
The only other things that you can do to try to make your spaceport a little bit more defensible is that if you are in one of your outposts, the enemy can't actually teleport directly next to you if you are close to this outpost. In fact, they can only sort of teleport into this outer ring, if I'm remembering correctly. And I can even, if I have my warships back, I could show you. Maybe I can still show you anyways. If I go to the galaxy and we pick a system that we don't own. Uh, if I try to teleport. Yeah, it's going to show me that I can't. And you can see in red um, that, I, that I can't be here. But if I were to go, I could go to the outside of this system. So putting your spaceport close to the center of the system is a good idea. Um, if you're on the outside of the system, then you can get attacked. Plus, it's the center. It's the closest you can be to, like, on average, all the places you need to go within your own system battling pirates. And, um, you know, for most people, if you're in your own nebula and you know that an attack is about to happen, then probably the best thing that you can do is to just pop one of these peace shields. I have accumulated a lot of them because I haven't used basically any peace shields in my entire time playing this game. However, you probably should be using a peace shield when you sleep if you know that things are going to be a little bit crazy. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. I don't think it makes sense to pop these buffs proactively in anticipation of an attack on your city, which is why I didn't mention them. But if there are other things that you should be doing to defend your spaceport, definitely let me know. I'm very interested. Leave that comment. And until next time, you have fun smashing your nebula.